when Tinwald sat last week, it marked the final time for four long-serving members of the Legislative Council, the Parliament's upper chamber. Jeff Corkish, Dewan Turner, David Anderson and Mike Coleman have opted to stand aside after fulfilling their natural lifespans on the scrutinising body. Another candidate, Jane Poole Wilson, also at the end of her tenure cycle, bringing the total number of seats to be filled in a special election in a week's time to five. But Mrs Poole Wilson is seeking to defend her chair. She was one of the first 15 candidates to throw their names in the ring for the £40,000 a year job. The second to apply was Douglas Councillor John Skinner. The two of them join me live now in the studio. More am I to you both. Could I ask you both first, and we'll start with you, Mrs. Paul Wilson, motivations, why do you want this job again in your case? Um, well, I very much enjoyed the, the short period that I have uh, had the role of member of the Legislative Council. Um, I stood initially because I thought my uh, background and skills as a lawyer would be transferable into the role. Um, I believed a great deal of the role is, is scrutiny, both technical scrutiny, but more broadly um scrutiny around the impact of different pieces of legislation and policy. I thought that would be relevant. I have found in my time that I those skills have proved relevant. I would like to continue to be able to offer those skills um, and, and continue doing the sort of work I have been doing so far. And Mr Skinner? Well, I was approached to, to stand and I went to see Mr President and he gave me a job description and I looked at the job description and to a degree, it sort of mirrored and related a lot to what I do on, on the council, um, which is sort of scrutinise, question things. Um, and I thought, I've sort of done some time at nas national, sorry, local level, and I thought that sort of prepared me to step up maybe to national level. Well, there's a difference though, isn't it? Because you are a long-serving Douglas councillor, former mayor of the town. What sort of a step up? Is it a step up, maybe a step to the side? Do you anticipate it between Douglas Council and the Legislative Council, other than having a public mandate, of course? <laughs> well, yes, you're right. I do have a public mandate. No, there is a difference. I mean, um, the, the legislation, obviously, that Tinwald and, and government have is, is a lot more in-depth. Um, there's, there's a lot more of it. Um, I wouldn't say I was long-serving. I've only done six years. Um, but uh, but yeah no it's it's a lot more and it's a lot more full on as well. Well, you have a background in the fire service as well, so we'll, we'll actually touch on this because both of you have volunteering experience in a minute. But Mrs. Paul Wilson, if I can turn to you, you're by trade an employment lawyer, aren't you? What relevance does that have to being a parliamentarian? Um, well, I, I think there's two things. I mean, for me particularly, I was given uh, a role as equality champion in September last year. Um, and that really is to uh, help raise awareness and support effective work towards implementation of that particular, the Equality Act in the Isle of Man. The employment aspects of my role, uh, I dealt a lot in the UK with the equivalent provisions. So I have a sort of working knowledge, particularly of how it works in, in the employment arena. I suppose the lawyer bit before specialising in employment law, I did generalised training and I think the skills that you use as a lawyer are very transferable to this type of scrutiny, detailed, eye for detail questions and so on. Well you are the equality champion of Tinwald overseeing the landmark legislation which is the Equality Act as you say. Currently, well uh, until your tenure expired, the only Mem the only female member of Legislative Council too. Tell me, how important do you think diversity is in the upper chamber? Uh, I, I think it's very important. I think there's um, there's a danger sometimes when we think of diversity that we do tend to think around categories like gender, like age, like disability and so on. I mean, I actually think that the Legislative Council, giving it the, the role it has, needs to be representative of our population. So um, I, I do think that diversity of perspective and experience is also important. Mr Skinner, what are your views on that? Do you think the current scutch of candidates are representative, a true cross-section of Manx society? Yes, to a degree. Um, but, but yeah, I would agree with what Jane has just said. I mean, on Douglas Borough Council, we actually have a 50-50 split of, of men and women. Um, we have a member of the Filipino community as a, as a councillor. Um, and yeah, we are perhaps leading the way with diversity in Douglas. Now, I wanted to uh, speak about your 
both of your roles in the community. Mr Skinner, you were a, a, a member of the fire service. Mrs Paul Wilson, uh, you were a trustee of St Christopher's, I believe, too. Tell me, how did those skills, that sort of passion for doing things for the benefit of others, transfer to the Legislative Council? Um, well, <clears throat> I've been in public service since I was five years old when I joined the St John Ambulance Brigade um, and gone through there and I joined the fire service. Um, and, and the skills that I had, I worked with, enforced. Um, I was in the fire safety department when we introduced the fire precautions flats regulations um, and I inspected hotels under the Fire Precautions Act. Um, so it, it was working with legislation and, and the skills that I learned sort of through the fire brigade will transfer into Legislative Council. And Mrs. Paul Wilson, what sort of a role did you have with St. Christopher's? I, I still am a trustee of St. Christopher's Isle of Man and I really, really value the role. I think um, what it has brought for me is an opportunity to engage with sections of our community, the looked after children uh, community, the staff. Uh, there are staff doing tremendous work to support uh, young people in quite difficult circumstances. And I think what it does is informs you of particular needs and issues and really helps you to try and see what some of the challenges might be. I think it's very important to have understanding of different issues and challenges that perhaps aren't always to the forefront uh, for, for us generally in the Isle of Man, because then in your parliamentary work, it enables you to think about does, is our legislation fit for purpose? Do we need to do more? How can we do better around certain areas? Now, it's an interesting time for, for all of you to throw your names into the ring for Legislative Council because it comes at a time of of change being in the air, really. There's a question mark over the future of the upper chamber, what it should represent, what it should stand for, what sort of a role it should have in society. How important is reform to you, Mr Skinner? Well, you should always look at, at everything you do. You're, you're constantly reviewing and reforming, and, and it is important. Um, yeah, you, sh you know, it's, um, t things move on, things change, um, and it, it's important to keep up to date with what's going on. And Mrs Paul Wilson, you've sat through Liz Vane debates during your time in LegCo. How do you see the direction of travel changing? I think there is an evolutionary process going on at the moment. I don't think you have change for change's sake, but I think you know there is there is a clear drive to acknowledge that the Legislative Council has a different role to the um, House of Keys. Um, and I think within that there is scope still for further evolution. We have a lot of discussion about should Legislative Council be in or out of departments and Tinwald House voted that members should be in departments but I think there's still room for us to create and evolve and think about how Legislative Council can support departments perhaps ne not necessarily being in a department. Well to both of you thank you very much for coming in we are running just short of time here quick fire question for both of you we'll start with you Mr Skinner how much of a motivation is the salary? It's not a motivation to me at all it's a commitment Paul Wilson? Yes, I mean, it's a lot of money and uh, there is a lot of work involved in doing it, but it's not about the salary, it's about the role. Well, Jane Paul Wilson defending her seat on the Legislative Council and Douglas Councillor John Skinner, thank you very much for joining me this morning on Mandate. Yeah.